Okay, off the back of the last piece, it occurred to me that I was talking about how we derive identity and meaning from having a sense of place and value in our tribe. And it got me thinking a little bit about something I heard Jordan Peterson say years ago about how he feels that some of the behavior we see in youth culture now is a result of what he called delayed fantasy play, I believe is what he said. And the thing about that was he was saying that children really need a chance to play make-believe and pursue their curiosity and explore things and kind of learn firsthand. And the way some more recent generations have been brought up, they've been deprived of that or that, that drive has been perverted through other channels and wasn't allowed to fully flourish. And two things happened. One, that drive is suppressed and then it's going to come out somewhere a bit odd um, and so you see a little bit of it's almost like a histrionic cult-like behavior in certain parts of youth culture and I mean some of that's standard but it, it's more pronounced and more skew than usual right now and the other thing is that it discourages curiosity and exploration and, and saying I don't know I'm going to venture off here and find out and I think that's a lot of why we are so um, almost innocent about sex, as much as we're, we're exposed to it at an incredible volume. I mean, you can't really escape it, and people engage in casual sex now more than ever. And at the same time, we're, we're almost less informed, less aware, less connected. And I think that some of that has to do with what Jordan Peterson was talking about, that the same thing that produces this acting out also is what probably causes the lack of curiosity, openness, adventurous spirit to say, I don't know, let me go out and find out what I don't know. And I guess that ties back to me saying curiosity is sexy um, because it takes a certain sense of adventure, a certain sense of courage, a certain, I don't know, a drive to know and do better in this world that is very just very charged it's very it's it's inherently erotic right it's that drive towards life and love that that keeps us afloat that, that gives meaning to the whole exercise of being alive of being human of being with others and when we try to cut that out and try to act like we know what we're doing and just proceed through the steps it's like it's like that old show i love lucy where the whole shtick was she would pretend she knew what she was doing by copying other people, but then the humor was in her getting it so terribly wrong. And I think that's where the tragedy is now, is people are trying to act out what they've seen as though they know what it is. And it's, it, it's not as funny in this case, because people are really missing out. People are really getting hurt and becoming more disconnected. And we see the, the individual suffering clearly. We see the numbers are not good for people. And we can see like a larger societal breakdown. And so this takes it back beyond sex again, which goes into how the lack of curiosity, exploration, and healthy fantasy play may be another major contributing factor to the deterioration of our collective well-being. Okay, another still in ugly wake up mode video, but I wanna capture this because I'm starting to put these ideas together and I want to see how they, they stitch into a larger patchwork here. All right, that's what I got on that. Bye.